Here's the current phase of the world eater and as you can see I have the modular drill design on it that I very much like but unfortunately due to realization with all the different sides I won't be able to make it work because the way you can only have so many breakers on a corner like if you have the forward facing one like this and it's drilling forward well then the ones on the sides won't be able to drill the side because you'll have a blockage here but I think I will partially be able to incorporate I'll make it like a folding design where I have four and they each come out and then move in each direction and then it expands so you have the face it'll take a while to expand but it meets the objective of omnidirectional mining so here's just going to be a test and I have it programmed for the mining um, word and I also have all the move words programmed so time to move it over the monitor normally isn't up here but so you can see Now to get mining, my mining command is the exact same syntax as my move command. And it just does, it does a break command, which tells, uh, turn the pipes on, move that way, turn the pipes on, move that way. And then it just does the move command and it loops all nice like. That is just cutting right through that volcano. Such a huge drill head. As you can see, it just completely leveled that volcano, and its I'm not sure how speed efficient it is. I can't really tell because my computer runs a bit slow when recording, plus it's a large amount of frames moving as well, so it's kind of hard to compare, but it only takes three cycles to move, which is 18 ticks per cycle, then it does four ticks per redstone pulse on the pipes, and four ticks for any sort of redstone activation so it's probably about uh, 70 ticks per mining cycle ish so slightly more three and a half seconds and so yeah I'm going to refine this design I will be removing this entire drill head Actually, I think I'll just do that now. This is neat because this is so modular. It's attached. That one has the panel. That one doesn't. So I will just break that. And now, what? Now I will be able to just 
move away from it. I think I might replace these all with um, uh, deployers and that way I can make a fast construction thing. No reason why it'll just be neat. And as you can see it just de-anchored real neat and I'll just have to drive something up to this to anchor it again. It is a really good design because it's so modular as you can see it saves a lot of space here. Um, and it doesn't really have problems getting s with stuff getting stuck, but it would be easy enough to just add another two uh, rows of frames. It'll probably take me quite a while before I'm able to even get the prototype of the new unfolding design, but once I do have it designed, it should be it should be the same for each side unlike this design which I had planned so once I get one side done then it will be easy to go over the other ones